assessment. That's DCS Commissioner Margie Quinn speaking earlier this week to state lawmakers looking at the juvenile justice part of Tennessee's legal system, part of a review of sentencing, parole, and more, prompted by the shocking crimes that happened in Memphis about a month ago. And it's at least the second time Quinn has brought up the problem in just more than a month on the job, and it's hardly the only issue raised, including what the system's troubles are doing to the DCS workforce. For our, our top story tonight, WATE 6 on your side reporter Kristen Gallant goes deeper on what's fueling these problems and what local advocates are doing about it. The truth is, none of us expect it to be where we are. Knoxville's DCS office has seen an influx in the past few years regarding the amount of children they're seeing and not enough foster families to fill the need. It's a problem they're seeing across the state and was addressed by DCS Commissioner Margie Quinn. It is very challenging, but I am grateful to know that our current commissioner um, sees that, that it is traumatic not only to the children but the staff and just having for once to know that you really have a leadership person on board right now who can see that and verbalize that to others is really invaluable within itself. Here in Knoxville, there are twice as many children in need of care than there there are available foster families. We have 630 children who are currently in custody in Knox County alone. That doesn't actually count the neighboring counties that are also in our viewing area. But for Knox County, we only have 353 foster homes to that 630 kids. Now, the commissioner <laughs> did mention um, that that they had children sleeping in office buildings. I mean, is that something that you all have concerns with here? In we have experienced that here in our area as well. Uh, for us, we have had some community partners who have helped with uh, viable resources. Places like Isaiah 117 House have been created to help decrease these types of scenarios from occurring by giving children a place to feel safe and a bed to sleep in until DCS can find them foster care. But those with DCS say more still needs to be done. It's time for us to, you know, acknowledge that there is a problem and to go about how do we collectively come together as a community to cover our own. They are continuously looking for more foster families and employees to keep up with the influx of children coming into state custody. In Knoxville, Kristen Gallant, WATE 6 on your side. Kristen, thank you. Our local DCS offices are recruiting foster parents, staff, and volunteers. Now, there are also ways that you can donate needed items to your particular county's DCS office. We have more information on how you can actually donate, apply for a position, and volunteer on our website. Just go to WATE.com.